すみませんでしたもう一回すみませんでしたもう一回すみませんでした Oh, what am I apologizing for? Well, I haven't done it yet. I'm apologizing in advance. Before I reveal the sin I'm about to commit, I need to give you guys some backstory. You see, I am a picky eater. An extreme picky eater. I'm that annoying family member who keeps everyone from enjoying delicacies of the world all because I want to eat the same thing every Christmas dinner. If we went to a restaurant with food I wasn't fond of, my mom would have to search like a maniac for a CFC just to buy me my six pieces of nugget and then bring it back to the restaurant because that was the only thing I'd eat. That and I never liked vegetables. The only reason I wouldn't eat pizzas or burgers when I was young was because of the vegetables. And then as I grew older, I found my ways around it and began to pick the vegetables out of these meals. I also have a western palate, so we could only go to a restaurant with an option for western food. When I was in school, the Christian fellowship teacher would occasionally treat us to some Chinese food after club meetings. Of course, being the picky eater that I am, and in order to not be exposed, I would only order one red bean pao. I was so hungry, but I don't really like Chinese food, except for red bean pao and some wonton. There was a point when I was 7 where my health report at school was so bad, so the nurse told my parents how dangerous it was and that night my parents dragged me to the supermarket and I watched in horror at the fruits that they were putting in the trolley. Those next few months were the healthiest I had ever been in my life. I still remember the torturous days where I would have to eat those fruits. I'd be crying and fake puking and having to eat them. The banana, the banana was, is my biggest enemy. One distinct memory that I still have was that time when my mom was watching this Filipino drama. Anyone remember this? It was huge in Malaysia back then and my mom loved it. And as she's watching it, there I am at the side with tears streaming down my cheeks and banana in another hand. You are gonna finish your banana. And you are gonna lie. I ended up puking everything later and was convinced I was allergic to banana. The smell, the sight of it. How can you guys even eat this? And my parents, they always said, you just need to try it. You come to like it. No, I never came to like anything. I'm 25 years old, gonna turn 26 this November. And the only fruit I eat are apples. Red apples, to be specific. I can't even remember the last time I ate a vegetable. I don't know why I'm like this. I'd rather die out of starvation than eat something I don't like. Archie did try to cater to my taste buds. She would make these odd healthy fusions that had the necessary nutrients but was tasty enough for me. That's how I survived all these years. But my mom wasn't keen on that. She didn't want Archie to spoil me. Understandable. But I am concerned about my health, okay? Once in a while, I do push myself to have three cucumbers in my Norway sandwich. On some rare days, I don't remove the lettuce from my burgers. That's a big deal. Yeah, so picky eater. You get the idea. Now, when I was young, I went through the typical weep phase. I wanna go to Japan. Ooh -woo. But everyone in my family would point out how you're gonna eat their food. And yep, they were right. I knew it myself. I knew that my taste buds would never be able to accept Japanese cuisine. But one day when I was 15, after a major exam, the school planned a trip for us to relax. So my school planned a tour at a sushi restaurant and a trip to the chocolate factory. During the tour, we were given lots of sushi to eat. And sure enough, I wasn't a big fan. Until we got to the tuna mayo. The chef was teaching us how to make this. And as I placed this in my mouth, I was transported to heaven. It was delicious. Then as a souvenir, we were each given a bento set of different types of sushi. And I actually enjoyed it. It took me a while to get used to the taste, but I never forgot that tuna mayo. I really wanted to get my hands on that after that visit, but it was impossible. Because you see, my family don't really consume East Asian food, Chinese, Japanese, Korean cuisine. It's just not our thing. They would enjoy it, but it's not their go-to food. So I grew older, forgot about that until last year. Remember this video? The one where I made food that Ashley Links ate when he was alive and served it to his picture. Yeah, so there was this norimaki thing that he ate. I did my research, bought the ingredients, and attempted to make that. Well, guess what? That tasted exactly like the tuna mayo sushi I had when I was 15. And I've been thinking about it since that day, which is why I've decided to attempt to eat Japanese food. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy Japanese food, but I still wanna try, okay? To fulfill the 8 year old weeb request of mine. And that's why. Sumimasen deshita! So to any human of Japanese descent watching this, please forgive me for how I'm about to react. So the first thing I bought for lunch on one of the days was katsudon. Let me taste what Yuri liked so much about this. And a set of chicken gyoza. Now the description said rice served with cutlet, but the image... That's a lot of green stuff. <laughs> Okay, I swear to God, when I was opening this up, it smelled amazing. It smelled so good. 
I was so excited to try this, but unfortunately, the katsudon didn't do it for me. It did smell amazing, you know, like I said, I genuinely thought that I'd like it because of how good it smelled, but the taste was bland. Yes, I'm that 6%. I ran a poll on Instagram and only 6% thought the Japanese food tasted bland. Either way, I tried to finish this up but I only ate half. I just, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. But we still have the chicken gyoza which is actually considered Chinese food in Japan. Now, I was looking forward to try the gyoza because it reminded me of Dorohedoro. Did anyone else read this manga? Because I actually really like this. The manga, the anime. Kinda sad no one talked about it. But seeing Kaiman and Nikaido run this gyoza shop did make me hungry at times. And I always wondered what it tasted like. Sadly, despite smelling as amazing as the katsudon, the filling wasn't it for me. It tasted like these dumplings, which I'm not a fan of. So my rating for the katsudon is 5 out of 10. And the chicken gyoza, 3 out of 10. Please don't hate me. So the next day, I decided to shift my focus to some typical kombini food. I decided to stop by Family Mart. This is the saddest family mart I have ever been to. Unfortunately, there wasn't much in this particular family mart, so I just decided to try their soft dough since I've never had it before. Uh, guys, this tastes like ordinary ice cream. A lot of Malaysians hyped up the soft dough, but it tastes like normal ice cream. But still, it was amazing to eat this in Malaysia's scorching heat. I'm rating this an 8 out of 10. I also bought this frap by mistake. I thought it was strawberry flavored, but it was watermelon. I didn't like it at all. I hate watermelon. 1 out of 10. And then I decided to order some stuff through the Family Mart app. Because I didn't want to waste time again. What if I chose another Family Mart but it was just as empty as the other one, right? So I picked one tuna mayo onigiri, melon pan, of course, this cheese pudding, and this cream puff. Okay, so I decided to try the onigiri first. From what I've seen, apparently you're supposed to open it like this from this direction. Actually, this tasted okay. The seaweed, the rice, the filling, but there were onions in the tuna mayo filling. Yay, our first positive experience. 8 out of 10. Now for the melon pan. Of course, I had to pretend like I was the main character that's late for school. I've seen this in anime far too many times. So let's taste this. Okay, when I took my first bite, I thought it would taste something like a typical potato bun. But as I continued eating, that's when I hit the jackpot. The sweet filling. <gasps> It's similar to Roti Boy, which is Malaysian by the way. Because I've seen other countries claim Roti Boy. Roti means bread in Malay. But yeah, similar to that, but just very sweet inside and outside. And since I have a sweet tooth, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Next, the cheese pudding. So I've heard that Japanese pudding is special. I particularly remember this Einstein video. Yes, I used to be a huge fan of Einstein back then. I'm not making that much on YouTube, you know. Oh, I like this one. Uh, well, we well, well, that's some amazing clips, am I right? 10 out of 10 would subscribe again. <laughs> he got caught up in some messed up drama, which as much as I enjoyed watching his content, I actually believed that he was involved in these messed up rumors that caused him to leave the internet. So in one of his videos, he was eating this opai shaped pudding and I remember craving for it. Not the opai, the pudding. So this is my chance to taste. I am not disappointed. So soft creamy and sweet and then i remembered to do this a little late since i had taken a bite but i had to see gintoki's analogy in person 8 out of 10 for the pudding and then this custard cream puff guys this was so soft and so creamy it was so good 9 out of 10 i think you can see how much of a sweet tooth i have and yes i prefer these types of food compared to rice the next time i decided to stop by sushi king but not to try their sushi i had another place in mind to eat sushi instead i decided to eat something for lunch and after looking through their menu i chose this yakiniku bento with ebi fry. This one didn't taste as bland as the katsudon. The katsudon and gyoza was from an authentic non-halal Japanese restaurant. I don't think Sushi King is considered authentic. Is it my fellow Malaysians? Is Sushi King considered an authentic Japanese restaurant? I don't think so. But I did force myself to eat the vegetables because I was in public and I didn't want to waste my money. But it was okay. The yakiniku with the rice, omelette at the side and some ebi fry was decent. There was this like bean thing from in god knows what but i couldn't bring myself to eat that it's too healthy 
Now would I eat this again? No, it's just not for me. 7 out of 10. Now for some sushi. So I decided to order in. I got 2 tempura ebi, 1 salmon sushi, 1 tamago, tuna mayo of course, tuna maki, the roll, kani mayo, crab roll, grilled cheese salmon sushi, chicken meat slice roll, potato mayo, and inari tempura. Stop drooling, I can hear you guys. I have an issue saying inari because my dirty mind wants to say inari. Blame the BL that I've been reading, okay? Now I'm glad I saved the best for last because I didn't have an issue at all. All with the sushi. The tuna mayo once again had onions in it, but I just pretended they didn't exist. It was exactly what I've been craving for ever since I made that tuna mayo norimaki last year. So this one I'll give a 9 out of 10 if it wasn't for the onions in the tuna mayo. So I was actually planning to taste even more dishes, but after the katsudon and yakiniku, even with this sushi, I kind of was able to see what direction Japanese cuisine took. And overall, I am not a fan of it. Their kombini stuff was nice. I'm gonna try even more family mat stuff like their ice cream sandwiches but their donburi and I'm pretty sure even their noodles it's just not my thing I need a little bit of spice you know because Southeast Asian food meaning Malaysian, Thai, Indonesian they lean more towards South Asian as in they're spicy Malay food, Thai food they've got a good amount of spice I need that spice oh well at least I try okay I actually want to give Mexican food a try. I've never eaten Mexican food before. Yeah, I've never eaten a taco before, okay? I guess because there are not many authentic Mexican restaurants in Malaysia, you'll find plenty of authentic Japanese restaurants here. Japanese people for some reason like Malaysia. It's their number one country to retire in. I don't think I'll be able to find authentic Mexican restaurants here, but I'm sure that the ones out there should be close enough, right? So give me your suggestions for Mexican food. I am going to leave my comfort zone as a picky eater and find an excuse to eat for videos. Shh.